As Congress backs the Biden administration's crackdown on Russia, it's also doing other work, like the January 6th committee making a new court filing accusing Trump of election crimes, like knowingly perpetuating a fraud. That comes amidst new revelations about what Trump advisors were doing behind the scenes as he gave that infamous January 6th speech. Take this new, never-before-seen footage of Trump's longest-serving advisor, Roger Stone, a convicted felon pardoned by Trump. It's from a new documentary first released by The Washington Post, and it shows Stone, a longtime political communications and propaganda operative, both in the moments when he was trying to control events that fateful day, like here working the phones, and in moments where he lost control and went into emergency mode. He ultimately had to pack his bags and ditch the hotel you see here that had become insurrection headquarters, the Willard, after things broke loose the evening of January 6th. All right, well, we're going to start pulling our stuff together. The God bless America. All right, very good. The God all right. protect our all right. troops. Let's pack. We're out of here. All those no, folks no, no, no. They take me as soon as possible. Serve. They want to get out of town. They want to get out of town. And this was a frantic period when Trump's most loyal allies, from Mark Meadows to Sean Hannity, were watching what, would happen, what was happening, and they were aghast. Many were also convinced that Donald Trump was politically over for good. Stone packed his bags, and he told those filmmakers the riot was a mistake and would be really bad for the Trump movement, according to the Washington Post. And Stone's bravado gave way to stark denials that he ever knew about or was involved in or condoned the illegal attacks. I should say what... To quote him, the illegal acts at the Capitol on January 6th, he said that would be categorically false to link him to them. So that's his claim, and we will report his denial. But the footage and some other photos and evidence suggests it's more complicated. Stone actually spent that early January period working with, talking to far-right leaders involved in the insurrection. Reporters have found that and documented it. In fact, on the eve of the insurrection, he was with an oath keeper who has since pleaded guilty to seditious conspiracy, shown in the photo. I repeat that because with everything going on in the world, you may not have heard, they just pled guilty to seditious conspiracy, a treasonous charge. That Oath Keeper was in Stone's room at the Willard Hotel on the morning of these crimes. Washington Post reported that. Stone also said he did remain in contact with Trump in that January period. We should note this new documentary does not show any such conversations on tape. The footage did capture conversations that Stone also had with people trying to get some emergency controversial pardons in the final days of Trump's presidency. There's footage of Stone the morning of January 6th discussing his fee. Mind you, he got a pardon himself from Trump as well. He wants $100,000 if he does pardon advocacy. Hey, how are you? Of course. Well, I, I, actually, that is legal. But if I couldn't, if I didn't have a, a really good chance of getting this done, I wouldn't take the money. In all honesty, a lot of people in this business would, but I wouldn't. Um, I got a meeting over there this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to have a little bit of input into the final list. Uh, it's certainly worth a shot, you know. You don't usually see that behind the scenes. Roger Stone, convicted felon, pardoned, talking about the fee for the advocacy. Everything's got to be legal. Mind you, you're talking about people who, for whatever reason, think they need a pardon, which is for illegal activity. We're not casting aspersions on the advocacy itself. We don't know whether any laws were broken or, I should know, whether any money changed hands in that call pursuant to that request. Now, there were also Republican lawmakers that were blocking the January 6th certification and we are told, and there's reporting, that Stone wanted pardons potentially for them and Bernie Carrick and himself if the January 6th blew up in their faces. Now, when Stone learned that Trump then pardoned Steve Bannon during his final hours as president, he was, quote, enraged and said Trump was the greatest single mistake in American history. I'm done with this president. I'm, I'm going to go public supporting impeachment. I have no choice. He has to go. Has to go. Run again. You'll get your brains beat in. Now, that itself was more propaganda or bravado because Stone did not go public supporting impeachment. He also supports Trump running again, and it reminds you of just who this president keeps around him. 
What the tapes show, though, is why the January 6th probe, even with everything else going on, is important, just as the DOJ probes, which are in and out of the news, are racking up, as I mentioned, convictions, guilty pleas to sedition. We will stay on the story.